And this is the Daily 180, 180 seconds of motivation and inspiration intended to help you take action and improve your life. Uh, for those of you that have watched a number of these, you will notice that I am in a different location today. Uh, we're on a little bit of a vacation, seeing some friends out in another location. But just because I'm going to be gone doesn't mean that the Daily 180 is going to stop. So here we are doing the Daily 180 on a little bit of a different format. Thanks for joining. Uh, today we're going to be talking, today is episode 50, and today I want to give you some insight into something that has been extremely valuable for me in the way that I order my life. And that thing that I want to talk about, that idea, is the idea of different facets. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed about successful people is they recognize that just because they're successful in one aspect of their life doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be successful in all facets of life. Likewise, they recognize that success in one facet of life, one area of life, can sometimes inform what they do in other areas of life. But each area is separate. There are rules, there are relationships, there are things that are important for the different facets, and people who become successful or who stay successful recognize that individual facets have their own individual rules. One of the first ones that I typically try to deal with is the facet of family. Family for me is not necessarily just relate just the relations that you have, the kith and kin that we hear about in the past, or the idea of people that you're related to by blood. Family is people that mean something to you, that the relationships are important enough to you that you go out of your way to spend time with them, that you integrate them into your life, and that you share important moments and important events with them. I used to say when I was teaching classes, never limit family to blood. Family is all about the most important people that we spend our time with. And if you feel like you don't have great relationships with your family of blood, I'm sure you have great relationships with people who are close to you. Significant others is sometimes what they're called in sociology. Those people may also be your family. Today, as a takeaway, as a call to action, I would encourage you, take a few moments. Find somebody in your family that you haven't talked to in just a little while. Tell them you appreciate them. That's all. I guarantee you that that kind of action helps increase the power that your family facet can bring to your life. And if we can bring fa power in that facet, we start bringing power into the other facets. This has been The Daily 180. My name is Todd Wente. Thanks for joining. Go forth and conquer. We'll see you next time.